the spa is over. I had 100 parts per million of calcium, magnesium, and seaweed, so 60-40 ratio, 60 calcium, magnesium, 40 of seaweed. Had my dendrobium hibiki soaking in that for a little while because it's time to get in here. Oh, it's rock hard. Here we go. Ha, la, 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 la. Hi. Thank you for clicking on this video. I don't feel so creepy talking to a hedge. But uh, yeah, Dendrobium hibiki. It's been three years in this pot. The growths are coming up on the edge here. The tag is uh, still caught by the roots, so we'll wait and see. The gardeners are busy as well. The sun has decided to come out and grace us with its presence. But there is a chill in the air, so we're not quite... We have some spring moments and then ah, a sudden reminder. We're not quite there yet. But I'm still doing this with the hibiki because it is a robust little hybrid. And my new growths will be or have already pushed out new roots and time is of the essence. If I want to get it done in this season and not wait another year. And after being in this setup or in this pot for so long, now is the time. And I believe I have two in here, actually, two separate plants, but I'm going to maintain that. That's the plan anyway. Let's see what happens once we get them out. Uh, do I need my knife? Doesn't look like it. I don't mind knowing that my orchids are doing well, <laughs> but it is not easy on the hands. That's why I prefer like to wait two years. It's also better for the root health in general to keep the oxygenation going through the pot and maintain that. But it's also good and better on the hands. So. Here I only had one microfiber because it is a dendrobium and in order to sometimes keep it on the drier side I allowed myself one microfiber and we have quite a few dead roots. My idea was not to fuss around with this too much but seeing these dead roots I do have to do some clipping and some trimming now that I look at it more closely and now I can release the tag without yanking on the roots and I have a better idea of what I can remove. Incredible how when you have a pot bound orchid, at least in my case, the part that is dead actually gives and that was the softest part of the pot where I could push. But I think what I'm able to do here is just clean up this side and leave her intact. Beautiful roots here. And that is all I'm going to do. How do these roots feel? They're quite brittle. So I would say proceed with caution when repotting your Dendrobium hibiki. And I don't have my clippers. I'll be back. Going around in circle looking for my clippers and they are exactly where they should have been. Duh. <laughs> just have to open the eyes a little bit more and not just glance. So I'm just going to be cleaning up the roots right here because she's going to go into a pot one size up. It is also a branching root system, which is great. That means if I left this repot too late with having new roots growing, I've got the branching characteristics. And that is always a very, very forgiving root system and very much appreciated when the timing is off.
Right. Let's get the spray in and jet it down and see what we can dislodge further. I can see that I still have some of the really old leka in here. The, what I also call dirty leka from, it was called Hydroton. It's this stuff, this differently colored stuff. Let me grab one in comparison and show you. So this is my, this is my leka that I always use right here. And this is the Hydroton stuff. Oh, it was vile when it came out. And I put it in contact with water to flush it through first to get the dust off. And it had this pungent, pungent paraffin smell to it. Oh my goodness, it really messed up my nose. And the kitchen smelled vile. Then when I got to boiling it, that pungent smell of paraffin increased even more. It was horrible. Back then I thought, right, if this is what I've got to work with, I could only clean it as best I can and I used it. But the minute I sourced my regular lecker that I'm using now, I potted everything off, changed everything back and redid everything to get it into proper lecker. I'm glad I did, but I can still see remnants of it. Doesn't mean the roots are dead there because of that lecker, it's just because they are the oldest roots. So that's why they're dead. It's nothing to do with the leka. Because in other areas, I would say they look fine, but these are newer roots. So I think that's all I'm going to do for Dendrobium hibiki. I mean, there's more nasty roots in here, but they're not, it's not so bad. There's enough aeration going on and I don't intend to separate these two because they're so intertwined. The damage I would do if I separated these two would be astounding. You can see that there's still some dead roots in there. But for the purposes of this repot and the oxygenation in the pot, that is not a detriment. I'm already clean all the way to the rhizome of one of the canes right here. So we're in as far as we're going to go. And then I have a shiny new pot and I have two microfibers here because I hadn't made up my mind if I want two or one, but seeing as it is a bigger pot, I am going to go with two just to be on the safe side and not get caught out by not having enough water going up and through the pot. Hibiki is a thirsty, thirsty orchid in my climate. I need to make sure that I keep it very, very well watered. It's either always in active growth or it's starting to push blooms or keikis. There's always something going on with this orchid, so I'm going to do two microfibers. And I'm going to do one that has a little bit of a loop to it where I can tuck some leka in underneath to raise the wicking effect a little bit higher into the pot, closer to the surface in the rim of the pot, just to make sure that I somehow can control my dry layer. And as this is a compact little grower, I don't put a support into this pot at all. I normally do for eventualities, but not with Hibiki. And Hibiki is getting the other dirty leka that I made a video of. And I spent two days, almost three hours per day, sorting through all the shards and getting as many of the clean pieces out. So now I have something that I like, I can work with. 30% of the bag is not discarded. It's going to go to the garden center. I want them to know what they have if they are aware of the lack of quality. But there's another reason as well that I'm using this and the pieces are smaller. Patricia also mentioned, Patricia's orchids mentioned that it's probably that the heat of curing the leka, the process and the heat wasn't high enough. And that is why they were brittle and broken and not tough enough. 
And it's true, the smaller pieces that never made it through the whole process or expanding process are cleaner than the biggers were. So the smaller pieces here actually now will also help me, and that was a really good eye from Michael McCarthy. Has very good eyes. But these smaller pieces will help me with the dendrobium because of the finer roots. I don't want to use my, my large lecker for finer roots like this. And this is going to give me another year. That's all it's going to give me. Houston, we need a bigger pot. I'll be back. And there we have it, bigger pot. I just did the same thing again to microfibers and I've got my little loop there with leka underneath. And this is going to probably last me two years at the rate these hibikis are growing. But that's fine, that's fine. And that's much better. Yeah, I feel better about this. <laughs> Not one size up, we went two sizes up. And because this leka is quite dirty, I would like to sift through it and get all the little bits and pieces of roots out. Hang on a second, is there one that I want to take off? Yeah, let's take this one off while we're at it. There we go. And the reason I didn't take that, oh, Nina. The reason I didn't take this one off before was because I saw the whole root. It looked a little nasty on the top. And that's all I saw in the pot right now and didn't remember. The reason I didn't take it off because it was fine. Yeah, I, I would have left that. I forgot. Oh well. Huh. Right. So there you are, nice and centered. Now all we need to do is fill you up. And yes, centered because of its growth habit coming out anywhere and everywhere. There's no one single direction of growth. Look at how pretty this little leka is. If I had 20 seedlings coming in, I would be thrilled to have this leka. This is the perfect size for seedlings. Catlia seedlings, Lelia seedlings, anything along those lines. Oh well, it's also the perfect size for hibiki, so... I guess there is a reason for everything. Comsa, se acabó. And Hakuna Matata, no? <laughs> okay. Let's put the label in. Let me see, where's the front going to be? Let's try and be a little bit more thorough with regards to this is growing towards the light. So I'm going to put you here, just in case I need to shift it around again. I'd like to be able to. Make sure I don't move my labels year in, year out. Whereas I know this is hibiki, but you know, it's one of those thought processes. It's just a habit. Where's your label gonna go? And that's it. Don't move it around anymore. Okay, so one thing missing here, because it is the dirty leka, although it has soaked for quite some time now, soaked and changed, water change, soak, water change. I didn't measure the TDS this morning, but as far as I'm concerned, it's good to go. But because it is that lecker, I'm going to flush this pot through just once with plain RO water. The orchid has had a little bit of pick-me-up sustenance prior to doing this. Repot and I'm just going to collect the runoff. And that would be it for my Dendrobium hibiki. Leaves coming off, that's normal. 
I'm good with that. But now I can also cut off this thing that's been bugging me for ages. This membrane there. And other than that, I don't see any mealybugs. Keeping a close eye here. I also don't see any signs of that moth larvae, although this one was never affected. I have not sprayed one, this one with garlic yet. There might be a little white dot in there. It's not anymore. All right, there you are. Grow and bloom, you awesome little primary hybrid. I love you. And I love you guys too. Thank you so very, very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Have yourselves a wonderful day and please stay safe. Take care. Bye.